to my channel so today guys i am traveling to miami and this is actually going to be the first time i'm traveling to miami and yeah uh we left uh home in the morning around about 10 because my flight was 12 and yeah i had to do the check-in emotional buys with my family yeah i had my family with me they check me so yeah I was going with Qatar and we were going via Zambia and um, Qatar then Miami so yeah I bought um, the flight around about um, 10 45 10 15 and yeah for checking in in my country is not uh, difficult is checking in in uh, Spain or in Dubai or in Qatar those are like busy airports so everything is just kind of busy there so checking in in my country it's just like five minutes things never there's um there's never a line so you just go straight to them till check in and that's it that's it there's nothing like i'm gonna wait for the line and stuff like that so yeah that's what uh, was a good thing so yeah we take off and yeah that was like a bye to zimbabwe until first few for a few months and yeah we were heading to zambia that so yeah guys i've been home for like four months see i've gained weight even my face <laughs> it was just a disaster but yeah i was so happy that i was going to miami and unfortunately that's how the weather was in zambia though in zambia it, the weather was really bad it, for at some point i was scared it was freaking bad but yeah we were safe So this is Zambia. So I didn't uh, shoot so much about Zambia because we didn't even like wait for 30 minutes. It was just a drop off and pick up. So then we continue with the journey. So this will be our second time. This is uh, Zambia. Welcome to Zambia guys. So this is the beginning of our longest journey this are about nine hours from zambia to Qatar. so this is actually my first proper meal since now nah, my head meal before i left home so this was like my second meal so it was around six now and it's time to sleep ah the journey is long nothing to do yeah, so it's time to sleep now the sun is set so i'll see you guys in qatar welcome to qatar they are uh, so we uh, land in qatar at uh, midnight around two and uh my next flight was uh the in the morning around seven so i still had like around six hours to um, sleep and to maybe take a shower but i didn't do all that though i just uh i was tired so yeah i went to the lounge and i i i did i do like i went the shopping i love to do that in Qatar because there's like plenty of shops like this these old designer shops that you cannot just like take um land and just go straight to the lounge and uh, and sleep now you need like <laughs> the the airport is just like go this way go this way and this i had um i had to shoot this famous <laughs> thing i see a lot of people they just go take pictures over there so yeah i decided to also do the same this time and yeah after um 
my long window shopping then i go to the lounge uh the good thing about Qatar, guys there is a free lounge <laughs> i actually didn't know i only find out now that there is a free lounge that you can but if you are a seafarer so if you're a seafarer guys don't forget it's a free lounge that you can sleep free wi-fi and food but uh for this time i have wanted kfc no lie so i went to get something for myself before i sleep and that was actually the <laughs> dinner yeah so yeah i had uh kfc but yeah for the lounge there is free food uh there guys if you are a safer but if you are not you have to pay yeah so that was actually the um the dinner not bad just that it's just the general kfc no lie general kfc no lie so this is morning after a breakfast i had breakfast and now i'm heading to the um, to, to the gate so i can check in i didn't sleep for long guys <laughs> it was just like three hours sleep so yeah but it was much better so yeah this is me i'm going to check in so i can take my next flight to miami it was already a long day i was feeling uh, tired but yeah what can i do i had to go my god it was not even full like it didn't even take us time to check in and yeah to get everything done so now it's time guys time to say goodbye to katam at least i had like three hours sleep that was now like okay but now it's gonna be another 19 hours journey my god that's the longest journey like i don't know i don't know but that's the that's the longest journey like and it actually feels like 35 hours because safety please keep your seatbelt fastened at all time even the seatbelt signs are switching before we begin our descent into Miami, I'll update you with the latest weather and arrival information. Until then, please make yourself comfortable and enjoy our world service. <laughs> Everyone talk about this announcement and it feels so real. Like these captains, like they are all the same. That's why I just like add this original sound to the announcement. <laughs> it's just like so funny. Okay, so guys, huh, this is me living Qatar. see you in miami this 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 is just the longest journey like i'm not gonna say anything guys you're just gonna see me eating and sleeping like it feels like the whole day the whole day sitting whole day sitting that's like the most painful hours of my life like okay i love i like i have the feeling like i'm I love going to Miami, but thinking of these hours, guys, if you ever think of going to Miami with economy class, oh, we are just broke. But I think these type of journeys, you need first class or at least business class. Like, we just broke. Yeah, we should just admit that we are just broke. But this is like... A first class or a business class type of thing you need for this journey that was like painful so that was like another first morning of the day so this is actually the breakfast this is the morning and the, the food in Qatar is very nice guys I love it I love it and I enjoy I eat everything so the breakfast was good and then we continue the sleep and eat thing for 
19 hours and for those 19 hours it it will add up to like 25 or 30 hours because it's gonna be like six hours forward so you can like match with the time of the time zone like the movement of the time zone it's just so painful like i don't know but it just no <laughs> it's just so painful you sleep for more than it you sl you sit in the same space for more than a day for it's more than 24 hours sitting you sleep you wake up you sleep you wake up and it's gonna be painful with your back your have like my body was just so painful i don't know how but yeah i didn't enjoy this part like the the, the whole part of going to miami it just like for for a moment stop and just uh, in, endure the pain until i get to where I'm, i was going so yeah guys for now just see what my journey was like see you in miami Finally, this is Miami after a long journey, <laughs> long painful journey. So this is Miami, guys. Here I am, finally in Miami for the very first time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. I it took me last so long to edit this video so I can post it, but now I fin I finally got it thank you so much guys this is me in miami uh we land in miami around uh 5 p.m uh, uh, around 4 p.m yeah and then i had to wait to collect my bags yeah it's very difficult to collect bags in, in miami because oh there's a plenty of people plenty of bags that way that is why it's very important to put different tag or even use different day bag so it's very easy to identify so guys see you in my next video that is me now going to my hotel bye